And welcome back to the Ed Hoddle Coaches Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Ed Hoddle, the head coach of the men's football team. And coach, 40-18 victory over Alvernia. Uh, solid performance on all three facets of the game. Uh, first initial thoughts on, on the matchup. Proud of the effort. You, you know, again, um, able to do some really good things in the second half. Uh, you know, took adjustments at halftime and, and went out and executed at a high level. Um, you know, not a great week of practice. You know, we, we talked about a post game a little bit. Um, Got to get better at um, the process of winning football games, so to speak. You know, how you prepare becomes vitally important. Talk a little bit about that process because on paper it seemed like everything was clicking, everything was working to hold them to no points in the second half. What was the focus uh, set at, the, at halftime to clean that up and then to get prepared for Widener this week? Well, it's, it's, you know, being self-aware and understanding, you know, how focused you are, how emotionally ready you are, um, to some degree, how physically ready you are. And, you know, those are things that have to occur all week. And that's something that, that we talked about a great deal yesterday. Um, you know, we didn't have a great week of practice last week. And I think we have to take that and learn from it and have uh, very focused practice, uh, meaningful practice. It's not just going out and kind of getting it done. It's going out and getting it done at a very high level. And a lot of that comes off of the leadership group. We've talked about it of them keeping the team focused and being a part of team play and getting everybody on the same page. One of those leaders this week was Ryan Sedgwick and a strong performance from him. Just talk about what his, his leadership has meant to the offensive group and getting things rolling. Well, I mean, you know, he's a fifth year senior, three year starter for us. And, um, you know, cerebral approach to the game, you know, does a great job preparing himself. Um, you know, so, you know, having him be the kind of the calm in the storm, I think, for the guys is really, really big. He's He's got a unique perspective on, on our offense. You know, he's he's you know, he knows it better than anybody else, uh, aside from Coach Hoig and uh, the staff. But. You know, he, he's, he brings that level of experience, and with experience comes calm, and with calm comes results. So for us, you know, he's, he's an invaluable asset to our program. And welcome back to the Ed Hoddle Coaches Show. Now joined with Ryan Sedgwick, quarterback for the football team. And, uh, Ryan, you guys had a pretty strong performance, especially in the second half. Just talk a little bit about the game, uh, the Alvernia game. Um, yeah. So we started off a big win, 2-0 and against Salisbury. Um, I think that – we tried to preach a lot during the week about respecting our opponents and knowing that every week comes with its own challenges. You know, every team tries their best to win as well. And every every game has its own obstacles. So uh, we had a slow start in the first half. I think we were up by two at half. More of a wake up call for us. I think that we thought it was going to go a little differently than it did. So when it, we rolled into the second half, um, we really picked it up. Absolutely. You guys also hold them scoreless. Just talk a little bit, maybe the de defensive side, keeping uh, keeping you guys in the game and giving you a chance to, you know, with four takeaways, getting the ball back right. to you and being able to go down and score. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, the defense has bailed out the offense more than a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. And um, I like to say that we, we do the same for them if they need it. So sometimes, you know, we'll have a turnover and they'll be in position to score and they've stopped them multiple times, put us in a great position. So. Well, that's a great mentality to have. And I'll talk a little bit about the preparation. You guys talked about uh, always respecting your opponent going into the Alvernia game, strong opponent going into the Widener matchup right. this week. What's been the focus? What's been the cleanup <clears throat> heading into this matchup? Uh, Widener is always a, a tough physical team. They're going to give us, you know, a good game for sure. So we can't go in with the same mentality last week. I don't know if it's going to end the same for us as it did. we got to come out strong. Uh, like I said, respect our opponent and – be willing to, from start to end, give it all we got. Great. Well, thank you for your time, Ryan, and good luck uh, against Whitener. Thank you so much. And defensively, you guys go out with seven seven tackles for a loss, pinning them back 29 yards. Uh, Demetrius Sally had a, a strong performance with 11 tackles, seven solo. Just talk about the the longevity of the defensive group and uh, not fo not being able to focus on one guy that's going to be coming at you. Well, you know, Sally's done a great job. He, you know, he's a big play guy. You know, he kind of started off last year. You know, had, I think he had five block kicks last year um, in total. And, and you know, he's, he's an exciting guy to watch. He's a dynamic player. Um, you know, defensive line-wise, I thought we had the best game we've had all year. Um, generated some pressure, had the tackles for loss. Um, you know, and it all starts up front, and we talk about that all the time. And and that's a that, that's a younger group. I, I think the defense on a whole is younger. You know, you look at Tom, and you look at Sully, and you look at some of those guys, and you see senior. Well, 
they're seniors, but you've got you've got the COVID year. You've got a lot of you know inexperience, kind of in older guys, and watching them kind of realize their dreams of being good college football players is certainly a lot of fun. But it does come with you know there isn't a ton of experience on that side of the ball. So to watch them grow and, and start to have success is certainly very exciting. And that upfront presence will certainly be needed. You guys head up to Widener for a one o'clock kick. Uh, again, second half of the season almost with uh, going back into MAC play. What's it going to take to get up there and come out, come away with a one and zero? Well, you know, you know, we've never gone to Chester and it not been an incredibly physical football game. Um, they're an incredibly physical football team. Um, you know, they're watching, looking at them on film the first three weeks. They're going to establish the run. Um, and obviously that means we need to match that physicality. We need to match that intensity, obviously going on the road. Um, haven't been on the road in a couple of weeks, so we've got to deal with that aspect of it and, you know, handle it professionally. Uh, but we're going to have our hands full. You know, we've got to go up and be focused and play our best football. Coach, as always, thank you for your time. Good luck and go get them. Thank you. He's the Ed Hoddle. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Ed Hoddle Coaching Show.